Well, hello everybody, John Haverstake here with another Lightroom 4 tips and tricks tutorial for you today. Today we're going to look at a process for applying a watermark to a batch of images as we export them out of Lightroom 4. Uh, for example, I have a whole bunch of images here, about 140 odd images from a recent car show that I'm going to pass on to the client as um, printable 5 by 7 images. But I don't want to provide these without some sort of a watermark and uh, my website URL. So I'm going to, I'm going to apply that in the lower right corner of each image. Now I suppose I could do that in Photoshop by opening each exported JPEG and either using a, a brush stamp or applying just a type layer to each one. But that gets pretty tedious after about the second image. So let's, uh, let's come up with an easier way to do this, save ourselves some time and some frustration and do it on the export process out of... Lightroom. So here I have the finished images all in a folder ready to go. I've selected the ones I want to apply this to and we're going to go up to the uh, file menu and choose export. Now I could also right click um, on any of the images and get a pop-up menu that would do this as well. But uh, what I get then is the export dialog box uh, with a bunch of presets for uh, various types of exports that I've created here on the left hand side and all the options for um, the exports here on the right hand side. I'm going to choose a preset that I've already created to get the images to the proper size, 5 by 7 at 240 uh, dpi. But this uh, preset does not include a watermark. So as we scroll down through the right hand side here, we'll see there's an option here uh, in the dialog box for watermarking. And I'm going to go ahead and check the watermark checkbox here. When I do that, this drop down menu becomes available. And I can select from a variety of watermark presets that I've already created, or I can choose, as in this case, to create a new one or edit a watermark. So we'll choose that option here. We get our watermark editor dialog that comes up. So it shows us a preview of our image, and it's got a little placeholder text here. I'm going to go ahead and type in, in this window here, the um, uh, text that I want to apply to each image. So option G for the copyright symbol on the Mac. So copyright 2012 www.johnhaverstickstudio.com. So that's the text that I'm going to use for the watermark. Now obviously I could create a graphic, I could use graphical watermark, and that's a, uh, a topic for a different tutorial. Today we're just going to use a text-based watermark option. So I've got the text in that I want to use, uh, and then I'm going to format it. Uh, I'm going to choose a different font here than Myriad. I'm going to use uh, Gil Sans, which is a nice, clean, uh, sans serif fonts, very easy to read, especially at small sizes, which is important here. Uh, I'm going to leave that as regular. I'm going to right align it, which notice it didn't change anything there. That's, that, that'll change in a moment. I'm going to leave the color as white. Don't really need a drop shadow for this, so I'll uncheck that option. I'm going to drop the opacity to about 75%. I could go lower, but I, I do want it to be visible, just not so much in your face. Now I'm going to skip all the way down to the bottom right here of the Watermark Editor dialog box to this option, Anchor Point. And I'm going to check the lower right check uh, button here uh, to, to move the watermark to the lower right corner of each image. Uh, but that being done, I'm going to go also, also go ahead and just kind of inset it a little bit from the right hand side and the bottom by uh, using these inset sliders. So you can see here in the little preview window that it brings it up and over a little bit from the, the bottom and right side of the image. I also want to scale it down just a tad uh, using the proportional uh, slider here. So we can see there about what it's going to look like. Obviously it's kind of a small preview, but you get the general idea. And so with that, if we're happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and click the Save button here in the Watermark Editor. And what I'm saving here is not the entire export preset. Rather, it's just the watermark preset. And this watermark preset can then be incorporated in any number of different export presets. So let's give it a name here. We're going to call it uh, 2012 Copyright with Web URL. And click Create. That saves that uh, watermark preset. And you see it here. It automatically selects that one. If I wanted a different one, I could choose a different one but that's the one we just created, so we'll leave it at that. And then in this case, I just want to show the finished images in Finder. I don't need to open them in Photoshop to watermark them because the watermarking will be done in the export process. 
So with that, we're ready to go. I would simply click the export button here to um, do all the heavy lifting and get them exported out into a folder of my choosing. I've already done that, so rather than have you sit and watch while that happens, which is kind of like watching paint dry, I'm just going to skip over to the folder of images that I've already got done. And you can see here's an example of one of the images right here with uh, the watermark uh, at the bottom. And another sample. You can see it's nice and consistent in the lower right-hand corner. As we go along, same size, same place, looks nice and clean and professional. And so there you have it, the watermark export out of Lightroom 4. Thanks for joining me today. Again, this is John Haverstick from John Haverstick Photography. Hope to have you drop by again.